You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. of love imagine the steps of love ama kwanu ka osebido na kosieje love is so strong my dear that's unfair and unkind of you not to have given that young man audience That please. I don't want to ever talk about Eric. Please. But the young man has shown you how sorry he is. He did. Haven't you punished him enough? Tell me. Tell me what he must do to deserve your forgiveness. He should go away. But you know he is human. Please, please stop tormenting me with talks of the man who hurt me so much. That if you don't want me to stay in your house again, then I'll go back to the village. I don't want to talk about Eric again. Could it be I'm falling in love with Remy? No. I can't be in love with any man right now. Not after what I passed through in the hands of Eric. But he's growing fond of me and I'm getting so attached to him. But come to think of it, he has he hasn't done he hasn't done anything to me unlike Eric, who I will never forgive for what he did to me. I still need to take my time and study Remy properly before getting into any form of relationship with him. Mm, though he looks nice, but that was what I thought of Eric before getting to know who he truly is. In fact, I don't think I'm ready for anything relationship for now. No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. Get it out of your head. I'm done. I am very sorry for disturbing your peace over Eric's matter. I'm very sorry for not realizing the trauma, the emotional pain, the damage his action did to you. I'm honestly, I'm sorry for not realizing what you are passing through and not giving you reasonable time to pass through the process, to process things yourself. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm equally sorry, Dad. I'm sorry for the way and manner in which I spoke to you earlier today. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I will. But on one condition. 
that you don't tell me you are going to leave me again. I have come to love and accept you as my daughter. Please, don't threaten me with that again. Don't tell me you will leave me again, please. I'm sorry. I would never say a thing like that ever again. You will always remain my dad. And I've come to love you as well. I am not going anywhere. It is a promise. I am not leaving you. And I promise you, I will never discuss Eric's issue in this house again. I have a new date. Really? <laughs> Who could that be? I can't wait. <laughs> okay. His name is Remy. 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 I can't wait to meet Remy. I can't wait to meet with him. <laughs> and you're happy? Of course I am happy. Having issues with her? No. She's been avoiding me. She's not taking my calls. She's doing everything possible to block me from seeing her. Hmm. That's strange. Have you tried to go to her house? Do you know where she lives? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do, but I've not been there to check up on her. Oh. Okay, I, I think you should do that. Yo, you want me to go with you? Come on, bro. No. I... I'll go there myself, okay? I, I'll go there and know why she's been avoiding. Yeah, I think you should do that because she might have her own reason why she hasn't reached out to you. So it's important that you, you reach out first and find out. Alright, I I will do just that. Okay. Alright. Listen, I I hope everything goes well for you. Okay? I want you to be happy. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. I was happy, at the same time sad. I was happy because I knew it would not be long before God punishes you for what you did to me. At the same time, I was sad because I know that I love you so much and I still do. Um, probably because you're going through a lot right now. I mean, it's not easy bringing in a village miserable blind girl to town and she regained her sight and left you. I mean, take a good look at yourself. Are you here to mock me? No, 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 no. For what? Come on, darling. You brought this upon yourself. Uh-huh. I had real love for you. 
I love you and I still do. But what did you do? You shoved it up my ass and went for a nobody. Take a good look at you now. Look at your life. It's never too late to reconcile with me. I mean, to beg me, of course. That's why I'm here. Leave my house. What? I said leave my house. Is this pride talking or what? I mean, are you really asking me out of your house, Eric? Tina. Just leave my house, okay? The windows are open. Time is ticking. It's not too late to beg me. I mean, it's not too late for us to reconcile. Me beg you. That's why I'm here. Baby, what's going on? What's going on? Why are you avoiding me? Look, for God knows what, you've been avoiding me and... Come on, baby. If there's anything I have done, Okay, please, tell me. I will apologize here and now. You have, you've done nothing to me. Then absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, I find you to be perfect. You are such a perfect gentleman. And that makes me wonder why You've been unfortunate, or should I say, unlucky in relationships? Or is it that my gender are too blind or unintelligent to spot a genuine and sincere man like you? Baby, I... I believe God has a reason for everything and for everyone. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I started avoiding you in recent time. Well, you see, the truth is, I needed time for re-evaluation. I needed time. To think that my brother was right after all. He said the same thing to me too. You have a brother? Oh yes, I, I do. I I have an elder brother. In fact, I I have an elder brother whom I have told so much about you. I cannot wait for him to meet a special woman in my life. What makes me special? you are special <laughs> and because my heart beats for you I will forever ever beat for you all I want is for you to give me an opportunity to take this relationship to another level please I want Sure. I really want to. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. But from the depth of my heart, I, I do love you. I promise you, you're not going to regret this. Okay. <laughs> In fact, um, how about we go see my brother tomorrow? That would be great. Sure! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! My dear, my attempt to reconcile you with Uchuka 
almost brought a serious issue between us. It almost severed my relationship with her. I don't want that. I'm very sorry to hear that, Doctor. You see, she made me promise her that I will not talk anything about you before her again. And what is most paramount and important to me right now is my relationship with her. If I jeopardize it and stay with me in this house, will be jeopardized. Please, I do not want anything that will come in between us. I'm sorry about that. Doctor, I clearly understand how you feel. And I must respect the fact that you are trying to secure that fatherly relationship you have with Ujuka. But it's, it's very disturbing to me that up until now, she hasn't forgiven me. And I don't know why. The truth is, I am not asking Ujuka to take me back. I'm not asking for a relationship. I'm just asking for her forgiveness. Is it too hard for her to forgive me? I want to know what it would take for her to forgive me. Does she want my life? If she wants my life, then she should say so. Then I can give her my life. I just want to be forgiven. I feel terrible. I feel bad. And I'm genuine. I'm not... My dear, I don't mean to sound selfish here. There is absolutely nothing I can do about that. My relationship with Uchuga right now is very, very important to me. If there is any way I can help you, my dear, I will. But please, stop coming to the house. Uchuga just met a young man and she is into a relationship with that young man right now. I'm sorry, I can't help you.
forget his good deeds. You're shouting on top of you, you're screaming, you're yelling. What is the problem? Who is after you? Did I yell? Of course! I heard your voice. That's why I rushed in to know what is wrong with you. Hope all is well, my daughter. It's... It was a bad dream. It was a bad dream, there's nothing to worry about. I'm fine, Daddy. It was only but a bad dream. Are you sure about that? You're fine. I am fine, Daddy. You have an early morning surgery. Please go back to bed. Please. I'll be fine. It's okay. But I want you to know that dreams are mere walking of the mind. Okay? Just sleep tight. Turn her. Who would have died just like that? Eric, for what? For one selfish, hard hearted girl who has decided never to forgive you. Is it worth taking your life? Yes. Yes, Remy. I was going to take my life. I hurt her, Remy. I hurt her so bad. And there's absolutely nothing I could do to change everything I did. To take back all the bad things I did to her. I said to myself, then I said to myself, if taking my own life would make her forgive me, would bring peace to her. I'm ready to end it all. I'm ready to end the misery, the frustration, the pain. I was ready to do everything. I was, Remy. Need I remind you, Eric, are you my brother? You're my only brother. I love and cherish so much. I will never sit back and watch anything happen to you. I only wish, I only wish I could set my eyes on this, this, this wicked woman and tell how unfair and rude she has treated you. What else does she want from you? Haven't you atoned for your sins enough? Haven't you? <laughs> 